Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? I'm Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are Lalita Loca and this is the 22 things to do on a cruise. Alright guys, uh, so a couple weeks ago we made a, a video, 22 things not to do on a cruise. Uh, that's linked in the description below. Where we went from 22 down to number one, telling you things not to do on a cruise. Well today, we're going to do it a little bit different. We're, changing it We're going to start at number one. We're going to go up to 22 and tell you 22 different things to do on a cruise. You going to kick it off? I'll kick it off. All right. What's number one? Go to elegant night. Don't miss the opportunity to dress up and take pictures and pretend you're at going to prom together. Do, do I have to wear a tuxedo? No. See, I think that's a misconception. Uh, every time that I go to Elegant Night, I just wear like a black button-down shirt and some khakis. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the rules are uh, no shorts, no cutoffs, no hats, and uh, I think it's good. I mean, it's one night during the cruise where people can get dressed up or semi-dressed up, and uh, I think follow rules and go enjoy a formal night. Number two, wear comfortable shoes. Mm -hmm. what, what's your favorite kind of shoes to wear on the ship? Um, I like my Crocs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my they're just Croc flip flops. Um, I wear I like sneakers, but the most important too, right, is not to buy a brand new pair of shoes and break them in on the cruise. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. Uh, on the last cruise, I just wore my most comfortable pair of tennis shoes most of the time, mm -hmm. and then uh, for the few times that I was on the Lido, I just uh, went barefoot. What? You live on the edge. On the edge. Eating the MDR. What's the MDR? It is the main dining room. So you don't have to eat the buffet the whole time? You do not have to eat the buffet all the time. You can have breakfast, sometimes they serve lunch, um, but dinners are always served in the main dining room. And it's such a pleasure, um, you know, even the in the main dining room. Yeah, so the cool thing about the main dining room is they do have a menu that you can choose from. That menu changes uh, most days. Normally they have like, uh, like a set menu, things that are on the menu every day, and then they have some additional items. You can either go to the restaurant and look at the menu. A lot of times the cruise lines will have it on their app, what the menu for the restaurants are. And a cool thing is you can try anything you want. You can order more than one appetizer, more than one entree. So some people like to go to the buffet because you can load up on a variety of food. Well, you can kind of do that in the MDR mm -hmm. too. So you can you can try anything you want. And it's nice to sit down and, and have somebody serve you. Hey, the, the gratuities for the uh, for the wait staff is already included. So it's really no no extra to go to the MDR uh, other than just having to do it during a certain time. And but uh, I enjoy it. The food's always good. Number four, make sure that you uh, try out all the different uh, fun amenities uh, around the Lido. So a lot of ships have a rock climbing wall, or they've got that wave runner thing, mm -hmm. uh, water slides. Uh, the, the, some of those bigger carnival ships have that sky bike thing. I know, right? <laughs> so most of those things, like the slides and uh, and and really like the rock wall, those are all uh, free of charge. So uh, make sure you try them out. Um, of course, don't forget the pool. Don't forget the pool. <laughs> How many times have you gone cruising and not uh, gotten the pool, Jenny? Um, twice. <laughs> How many cruises have we been on, Jenny? Uh, two. <laughs> yeah. So this is definitely a do for Jenny. Got to use the pool. Next uh, time. Yeah, I used it very uh, briefly, but it was uh, pretty cool to jump in. And uh, of course, there's a salt water pool, but uh, yeah, it was nice and refreshing. I like to swim at night, though. Yeah. Imagine that. I don't take the sun well. No, you don't. Number five, take a nap just because you can. I love taking naps. <laughs> I like taking naps at home. I like taking naps on the sea. I think the only way I got through the last cruise was to make sure I slept in the afternoon, but uh, it was awesome. Yeah. I don't really take naps because I'm afraid I'm going to miss something. You're not going to miss anything. <laughs> I know. I'm going to take a nap next time. Number six. Uh, primarily on the carnival ship, uh, make sure you use the, the walking trail and then you play mini golf. Uh, a lot of times it's tucked up uh, kind of on the, the front side of the ship and if you don't go to the top and explore, you kind of miss that it's there. But uh, yeah, get you a couple laps in and then play you nine holes of mini golf. And also the ping pong. I forgot to add ping pong to your mini golf. Ping pong and uh, cornhole and big chess. Yes. There's that shuffleboard. There's all kinds of things lurking around the ship. Make sure you look for all those fun activities. I mean, they're not big ticket items like the water slides and the rock walls, but there are some cool things to do. Uh, just like I said, lurking around the ship. Yeah. Number seven, and this is on the carnival ship, so I'm not sure on Royal or Norwegian or the other cruise lines, but do the sea day brunch. 
Um, they have specialty items and uh, menu items that are on, on the list, like that French toast that we we tried. I had some uh, Fruit Loop covered French toast. Yeah, it's it pretty, pretty wild, but yeah, so that, that happens in one of the main dining rooms. And uh, again, it's a menu service and usually that only happens on sea days. So depending on the length of your sailing, uh, you might only get one or two opportunities for sea day brunch. So uh, skip the Lido buffet and uh, go get you something fancy off the menu. Absolutely. Number eight, take in the shows. Uh, the cruise ships have, uh, they've hired performers, mm -hmm. uh, they've, they've put on theatrical productions, uh, musicals, uh, and comedy, and there's even karaoke. I consider karaoke a show, so uh, when you got nothing to do at night, uh, make sure you hit one of the shows and uh, just sit, relax, and en enjoy the uh, entertainment uh, that's provided to you by others. Yeah, our last cruise, I don't sing a lick, but karaoke was lots of fun, and the shows were just fantastic on our uh, Cuban. Number nine, go to the art auction. They give you a free glass of champagne. Yeah, you just gotta be careful not to raise your hand. Yeah, don't raise your hand like, hey, I need another Can I get 5,000? I want champagne. <laughs> yeah, I, I do understand that's one of the ways to get a free drink on the ship is to go to the art auction. I, I think uh, once you get boozed up, they want you to buy a painting. I think that's probably what they're, uh, they're after there. Exactly. Number 10, enjoy the drink of the day. Uh, we're not really big drinkers, but we do drink casually. Uh, one thing we haven't done yet on the cruise is tried one of the uh, the fancy mixed drinks that they have. Oh, yeah. And so uh, every day they designate uh, a drink. And uh, yeah, next time I'm, I'm trying the drink of the day. I, I definitely, you know, on Carnival they have the whale tail that the drink comes in. Mm -hmm. I have to have one of those. We gotta get one. Okay. Number 11. If there is a movie being played, go watch it. I mean, that's kind of cool just to watch a movie on, on the ocean. Yeah, our experience, uh, so both of the ships that we've been on, they, they didn't have like a, a, like a big movie theater out on the Lido, like some of the ships, but they did have a, a designated area where they showed uh, movies on a projector, and they were really kind of recent first-run movies. We saw like a Star Wars movie, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it was nice to uh, go to the movies, uh, get some popcorn, and uh, it all be included. So uh, if they're having movie night, uh, check it out. Check it out. Number 12, meet new people. So uh, you're, you're on a floating city of <laughs> two to 6,000 people. Uh, that person that walks by you and smiles, guess what, they probably want you to say hi. Yeah. I had a buddy a long time ago tell me that people were voice activated and they're really just waiting for that you know, input from somebody else to uh, strike up a conversation. Uh, yeah, make a new friend. And I'm really Ben, I say hi to everybody. So if you see me, it's like, hey, how are you this morning? You get into the elevator, I'm like, hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah, so if you see us on a cruise, uh, make sure you say hey. Number 13, try to get a spa treatment. I know that my sister-in-law last time, she had the, um, like a rock massage. Massage. Yeah. I know, I had a facial and I mean, I just loved it. It was like so relaxing to be on the ship and then someone just taking care of you, which was... Uh, Pretty nice. Yeah, and there's opportunities too where they they, uh, they have like seminars where they talk to you about the spa mm -hmm. and oftentimes they will offer a discount on spa treatment. So uh, go to one of those seminars and maybe get a, get a discount. Yeah. Number 14, this one's one of my favorite, explore the ship. Uh, you know, I've been fortunate uh, that I've been able to explore most of the ship. We've been on the Carnival Fantasy and the Carnival Paradise. Uh, and those are two older ships in the fantasy class, so they're not super huge, but uh, some of the most enjoyment I had was just like trying to make sure I hit every nook and cranny uh, to find something cool to see. And so I'm really looking forward, we're going on some larger ships in 2018, and I'm looking forward to exploring the ship. So uh, yeah, don't just stay in the same place. Go find something cool, and, and there, every ship in Carnival has a ship coin, uh, which is like a hidden medallion. We've uh, not found any yet. We haven't really found it yet, so uh, we gotta do that. But uh, yeah, do some ship exploring. Yes. Number 15, play trivia. Um, last cruise that we are on, they played Big Jenga. Um, there's a lot of free games that are going on during the day. Um, also, if you wanna play uh, bingo, but you just have, there's a charge for that, so. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. One, one of my favorite things to collect so far are these ships on a stick. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's a golden plastic ship uh, trophy but uh, you can win them by playing trivia or the big jenga or really any of those uh, games that they have 
most of the time the uh, first prize is a ship on a stick so if you're if you're looking to add to your trophy case uh, maybe find a game to play on board number 16 uh, this this is a good one uh, make sure that you're nice to people and the crew and uh, the people that are there for you specifically uh, I know that we're all paying for our vacation and because we're paying we all have that sort of sense of entitlement of things should be perfect well much like in real life things aren't always perfect and uh, I think it's important to try to empathize with the people that are trying to service and realize that uh, they're just doing a job so uh, what I found is that uh, you know uh, kindness always goes a lot further than, than being jerky. So uh, you might you might win in the short term being jerky, but uh, you'll win in the long term being nice. So be nice to the the crew and the people that are taking care of you. Well, and to go on that, they they work so hard and long hours, um, you know, and also to add to that, be nice to the fellow passengers. You know, there's no reason we're all waiting for the same elevator. We're all waiting, you know, to be served as well. So kindness goes much. What is it? Kill them with what is it? Kill them with kindness. Yeah, well, kill them with kindness, but a little sugar goes. No, you catch more. Uh, you catch more flies with sugar than vinegar. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what the something like that. Hey, also be nice to the people you're cruising with. <laughs> yeah, Anthony. <laughs> What? He gets an Anthony for that because what? yes, <laughs> he needs to be much nicer to me. Number 17, take fun pictures. Go to the aft, take a picture there. Take your own pictures on um, Elegant Night. Take your own, you know, just your fun pictures. Do your own, your own photo shoot. Yeah, so we picked up a lot of good tips uh, from our fellow cruisers at the La Lita Loca uh, cruising community on Facebook. Uh, before, when we went on our first cruise, we didn't even think to do something like pick up one of the life preservers right. that have the ship's name on it and take a picture with that. Uh, we, we did take some pictures of the whale tail. I'm fascinated with the whale tail. Mm -hmm. uh, pictures of the, the aft stream, uh, the, the trail behind the ship. There's just really all kinds of interesting uh, ship only uh, pictures that, that you'll real, they'll really enhance your memory of your cruise when you when you get those back home and look at them. And, and like Jenny was saying, uh, there's a lot of opportunities for professional pictures to be made. Uh, I, I say do that too. Stand in front of those backdrops and look <laughs> at those pictures to decide if you want to buy any. But uh, really, you can find a lot of cool spots on the ship for you and your friends and your family to take a view and, and to be a part of. So uh, find some creative places to take pictures. Yes, photos create memories. Yeah. Number 18. Order room service. There is nothing better than sitting around in your underpants, <laughs> looking at some food menu and deciding that at two in the morning you want somebody to bring you a toasted Reuben. Now I would suggest uh, putting on some pants before you answer the door, yeah. but uh, a lot of fun just ordering off the room service menu. Uh, a good portion of that menu is free. Uh, and so you can uh, order a bunch of free food to your room and uh, just make sure that you tip the room, ser uh, right. room service uh, delivery person. Uh, they're not included in the prepaid gratuities, so make sure you keep some uh, some ones around. Uh, I think, you know, three or four bucks is pretty reasonable when they bring you a tray of food. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun just to, uh, after a long day, uh, just to get some food ordered up to your room. So uh, make sure you order room service. It's free. Yeah. And the chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Mm. Mm. Number 19 goes kind of with that nap, but you should sleep late. Yeah, I wish I could sleep late. <laughs> This one doesn't sleep very well. Now me, I can sleep. I, I may not take naps, but I do get to, I do sleep late. I think this is great advice and, and I tried it, but honestly, even after I stayed up late every night, I was still up by like five or six o'clock mm -hmm. and out kind of exploring the ship. Uh, I guess that's my moment when I don't want to miss anything and, and I'll just get up super early and I'll run until I have to pass out for that afternoon nap. But I think that's why I have to nap. But I think so. if you can do it, sleep late. I do. All right, number 20 is one that uh, I definitely took advantage of. I stayed up past my bedtime. I think most nights I'm asleep by like 10, 30, or 11 mm -hmm. uh, during the normal grind. And I, I know on the ship there were a couple nights I was up to like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. So uh, it was a lot of fun. Nothing, you know, no responsibilities, no hassle. 
uh, if you uh, if you wake up tired or you have to sleep in. So uh, yeah, push it a little bit. You're on a vacation. Stay up late. Go to the club. We didn't go to the club, but go to the club and uh, you know, or just sit out on the on the deck and enjoy the sea. So stay up late. Don't go to bed early. Get some pizza at 12 o'clock on the Lena. That's right. There's no, you get some pizza at 12 o'clock. You're gonna stay up late because yeah. your, your tummy's gonna make. You're it. gonna have some agita in there. That's right. <laughs> Number 21. Try different foods. Like I know on Carnival they have escargot. Um, what other? They had frog legs. Yeah, chilled duck. I mean, yeah. that's not a normal thing you get in your life, and it's delicious. So, uh, yeah, look at the menu. Uh, everything that you curl your nose up at, just go ahead and order it and try it just because try. you know they're not going to make you eat it all. It doesn't cost anything extra, and uh, you never know. You might find something that you like. I, I remember I was hesitant to try uh, escargot for the first time, but I love I love me some snails. Yeah, and then you know what? When you get back to land, you're gonna wish that you did. So just do it. Exactly. All right, number 22. The last uh, thing to make sure you do while you're on the cruise is uh, make sure you look at that daily paper mm -hmm. that tells you what's going on on the ship. Uh, a lot of the ships now have that built into their app. So depending on whether it's uh, digital or whether it's uh, paper, uh, make sure you wake up in the morning and you kind of make a plan. Uh, it's easy to, to let the day slip by you without going to specific things. And so even though it might be a little hassle, take five minutes, look at your uh, your daily activities paper, uh, highlight a couple things that you want to do, and uh, make sure you do, do some interesting things. <clears throat> Go out of the box. Do things that you normally wouldn't do at home. Um, you know, like maybe take a cooking class. I know that our shipmates took a cycling class on the ship, which, which was fun. They do that at home but um, that's kind of enjoyable on the ship as well. Well, that's it guys. That's 22 things to do while you're on a ship. Uh, what do we miss? What, what's something fun that you like to do on a ship that's a must that uh, other people can benefit from? Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I, I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit your notification bell so you get notified when new videos come out. Uh, you can join us over at the La Liga Loca Cruising Community on Facebook. We are all over social media. Twitter and Instagram at Lolita Loca. Join us there. And I guess until the next time, we'll, we'll see, see you on the Lido. Lido.